I lied. In the last video, I took a, a bit long, so I, I broke that video into part one and part two. This is part three of 2.02. Wow, this is taking a bit of a time. But if you feel comfortable about this question, what you can do is skip to the end of this video to find if your results match with mine. And if it doesn't, maybe you can walk through some parts of the video. But if you already are already confident, you may skip part three and just go straight into tackling the homework questions. Otherwise, stay, stay on the line and we will go over Sammy the Flying Squirrel together. In the previous example, I have broken things down step by step to a certain level of detail. But in this question, I will go a little faster. I might even skip a few steps in between. So if you want an example where I go over everything carefully and in more detail, please go back to the previous parts of this video, part one and part two of 2.02 .02 Vector Edition. Otherwise, you can stay on the line and we'll go over this one very quickly. Sammy the Squirrel. He flew 2. Point, sorry, 23 meters north. Then Sammy the Squirrel flew 56 meters at 60 degrees south of west. So before we do everything else, let's draw a little compass needle to orient ourselves. I'm going to use north as positive and east as positive and vice versa for the other directions. Starting with the north, I'm going to draw Sammy going north 23 meters. And then Sammy is going to fly south of west, so in this general direction, but at 56 meters, which is much longer than 23. This is now 56 meters, and then 60 degrees south of west. This would be I go west first, and then I go south. This angle here is my 60 degrees. So here is my two vectors. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to break these two vectors into their components. Actually, before that, let me just draw the resultant vector so you can see what it looks like. My resultant vector starts from the initial uh, point where Sammy started, ends up at the final point where Sammy finishes. This is my resultant vector. I'm going to first break down to 23 meters into horizontal vertical components. But notice that the 23 meters is already going north. So I don't have to do anything. This is already in the vertical direction. I don't have to break anything into any portions. So I can leave the first vector alone. The second one is probably where I need to do a bit of something because it's in a diagonal. First, I have the X component and then the Y component. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to jump straight into calculating these sides of the triangle. Now, I'll start with the X side. For my X component, this is... I'm going to move this guy a little bit over. For my X component of my second vector, notice that I have the adjacent side relative to 60 degrees south of west, which means my X component is going to be using the cosine of 60. So this is 56 degrees after I solve for everything. This will be 56 degrees times cosine of 60, which is going to give me and notice I've already skipped many steps. 56 times cosine of 60, giving me 28. So my x component is 28 meters, and this is going west. Or I can write negative 28 meters because it's going in the negative direction. Now finding my y component, and because this is my opposite side in relation to my angle, instead I'm going to use sine, Sine 60 is opposite over hypotenuse, which means to find the side, this is equal to 56 my hypotenuse multiplied by the sine of 60. And again, if all of these steps are too quick for you, refer back to the previous video to look at more detailed examples. The purpose of the video is to just walk over through the key steps in this problem. So here 56 sine of 60 gives me 48, 48.49 dot meters and this is south or I can write negative 48.49 dot 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 meters just to show the directions using sine. 
I will also store this number so I can use it later. Okay, so here are my all of my components. To add components, I'm gonna start first start off with my x direction. But hey, I don't have to add anything because the 28 meters is everything that we have. There's no other x components. So I'm gonna write here 28 meters west because that's all we have. That's it, nothing else. Or I can write this as negative 28 meters instead. In my y direction, however, I have two vectors. One going north, then the second one going south. Which means when I'm adding them, I'm going to make sure I have my directions very clearly labeled. So first I go 23 meters north, and I'm going to keep that as positive, because north is positive. And I'm going to subtract the 49.49 dot 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 meters, because it's going south. It's going in the opposite direction. After I subtract the 2, I get 23 minus my answer. This gives me 25.497, 25.497, dot, dot, dot. This is south because on my calculator, it shows up as a negative sign, which means another way to write this is negative 25.497, dot, 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 meters. Now I'm going to draw my resultant vector in the... Uh, using my two added up components starting with 28 meters west and it actually doesn't matter which order you do this in but i'm just going to do it this way from top to bottom then i go down south 25.497 dot 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 meters and then my shortest distance between the initial point and the final point is this guy which is my resultant vector and my resultant vector will therefore be the square root of 28 meters squared and 25.497 dot 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 meters squared. And on my calculator, I square that number. I add 28 squared. And let's see, I'm actually going to save this number. Square this number plus 28 squared. Twist, take the square root. I get 37.86, 37.86, and I'm just going to round this up to 38 to two significant figures. And you may have guessed it, we are not done because all vectors need a direction. I'm going to calculate this direction over here using tan theta, which is opposite 25.497 over 28 meters. Therefore, my tan is equal to the, my, sorry, my theta is the inverse of tan of 25 dot 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 meters over 28 meters. And this gives me, I believe this is y over 28. Make sure I don't take the negative sign. I take the inverse tan, giving me 42 degrees. This one would be 42 degrees south of west. So if I write this down, 42 degrees south of west. Okay, now on the other hand, you can also write this in the other direction. So for example, if you did it the other direction instead, if you solved it the other way and you found the other angle as a result, you could also have written this as 48 degrees and this would be west of south. Both of these would have worked for directionality. It doesn't matter which one you use as long as you solve for both of them correctly. So hopefully you now have a better idea of how vector components work. I am sorry that this took much longer than they should have, but of course next time when you watch a long video, you can speed it up, you can skip, pause, do whatever you like. Hopefully you got something out of this and you are ready to try some practice questions. Otherwise, check, ch uh, come into class to ask me questions after school or during lunch. Otherwise, I will see us next time on the Lee channel with kinematics and vectors. Good luck.